Hi, I'm Matthew West. Getting a new computer is great, but transferring all of your files from your old computer to your new computer isn't always the highlight of the experience. One question we get a lot from customers is, how do I transfer my iTunes library from my old computer to my new computer? The good thing is, it's not very hard, and once you know what to do, it's a pretty simple experience. Today, I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing you'll need to do is install iTunes on the new computer. So if you haven't done that yet, hit the pause button and download iTunes from the Apple website. We'll wait here. The second thing you'll need is a stack of blank DVDs or CDs, depending on what kind of drive your computer has. If you have a lot of files to transfer, you'll need more disks. Once you have iTunes installed on the new computer and you have some blank disks ready, go ahead and open iTunes on your old computer. Go to the File menu and choose Back Up to Disk. iTunes will give you two options. The first one is back up your entire iTunes library and playlists, and the second option will allow you to only back up iTunes store purchases. If you want to copy everything, go ahead and choose the first option here. If you just want to copy the things you purchased from iTunes, click the second option. We're going to choose the first one. When you're ready, click back up. iTunes will then prompt you to insert a blank disk into your computer. It'll scan the disk, and after a moment or two, it'll start burning the files. If you're backing up more data than will fit on a single disk, you'll see a message asking you whether you want to back up to multiple disks. If you get this, just click on Data Disk and Continue. iTunes will continue to burn the number of items that will fit on one disk and then ask you to insert additional disks to continue burning the remaining files. Don't eject a disk while a backup is in progress. Once all of your data has been copied, open iTunes on your new computer and insert the first backup disk iTunes will ask if you want to restore from this disk. Just click Restore, and iTunes will do the rest. Keep inserting disks as iTunes asks for them. And we're done. And that's it. One thing I should probably mention is that the disks you create during this process can only be used to back up your library. You can't play them in your CD player or DVD player. If you still need help, visit your local Circuit City store and talk to one of our FireDog technicians or call 1-800-FIREDOG. Thanks for watching.